it's Sunday. I'm wandering along Castro Street right now because I decided I was going to go out to have lunch with my mom, who I'll be happy to introduce everybody to in just a moment. But first, I just want to give you all an update about what's going on. I received another uh, submission response to the uh, question interview process video that I made from Ross Slade today. So if you guys haven't checked it, go check it out. He just put it up last night. Um, now that I've got about three people that have responded, I'm going to make another, I'm going to pick another five and make another video. Wait and see who responds to that and repeat the process so you guys know what's going on. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the reason why I exist today. The woman that gave me birth. And the reason why I'm as damaged as I am. <laughs> my mother. Thank you very much. This is my mom. Hello, my mom. This is the YouTube audience. These are the people that I make videos for. Hello. So, you'll get to meet her because we're going to lunch. You guys will have an opportunity to meet my mom firsthand and see that, yes, she is a wacky woman. She was off getting coffee, so I'm sure you'll get to see her too. So, uh, keep watching. So, we decided we were going to stop inside a sushi place and grab some food. We were going to go for Italian, but a lot of the places along Castro Street in uh, Sunnyvale, California uh, are closed between 3 and 6 so that they can get ready for the night shift of dinner rush. So, as you can see, we've got a table of devastated sushi bits and pieces. And now, we're thinking about venturing out into the wilds of California to pursue ice cream. Who knows what this will entail and where it will lead us, but I can assure you that at the end of the trip, there will be a dairy-based snack waiting for us. Right now, we've decided to stop in a place that sells beads and knickknacks and stuff to make necklaces and bracelets and whatnot, also other types of wacky uh, ethnic gear. Check it out, I'll show you. We've got beads of all shapes and sizes and threads and wackiness and shivas. There's a shiva right there. And the uh, other odds and ends. No, there's no ice cream here, but we're working on it. So, uh, yeah. For you hippie Star Trek fans out there, check it out. I know what you're asking yourself, how does this tie into Star Trek? Yeah, they're hippie tribbles, see? Hippie tribbles? Yeah. I just want to give you guys an idea of some of the insanity that this beach shop has to offer. Look at this. 35 cents, okay, they're little tiny things, right? Move over. 75 cents, little little tiny things, right? Over here. Well, 225 is a little bit more extravagant. Now. Six bucks per. 50 cents. Oh, check this out. Ten dollars per. Per. Here's the, my hand. Crazy. So yeah, beads, lots of beads, all kinds of beads. It's a cornucopia of beads, a multitude of beads, a veritable rainbow of glass and plastic and wood, overpriced and a complete waste, but you know, some people actually uh, feel that spending $12 on a small piece of glass is a, is a, is a bargain. Eh, yeah, what are you going to do? So now, Shiva's wandering off to the restroom. My mother. We're waiting for her to get back and then we'll probably go and see if we can't find that frozen dairy treat that we were talking about earlier. It's an exciting day, it's Sunday. It's Castro Street, where yuppies meet, greet, and eat. That's where we're at. And you can tell by the expression on my face, it's an overwhelming experience. The environment is one that brings a person to an awestruck standstill, if you will. Realizing the amount of money that's being wasted here could probably finance a small country. But hey, you got to have your glamour food and glamour clothes and glamour books to live the glamorous life. My, mo my mother's making hand gestures. Look at the view. Look at the view. Yeah. That's my mom. <laughs> she, she's a nutball. Show all of the drama that is Castro Street. Yes. 
So how's so what is your uh, experience here on Kester Street like so far, Mom? I know we've been here about a billion times, but it's a sunny Sunday. You've had raw fish and rice, or in your case, avocado crab meat and rice, and uh, went into a bead store and saw overpriced uh, knickknacks and doodads. Whatnots. And whatnots. And now, potentially, we're going to go get the frozen dairy beverage treat things. So, are you as amped as you look? I, I mean, am. inside, are you feeling the electricity that is yes. Castro Street? I am so excited, I can barely contain myself. I, it's, it's evident, I think. When people are looking at this video, they're thinking to themselves, there's a woman on the edge. Yes, just barely hold on. She's, yeah, she, does, she looks as if she's about to snap. That would be she. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, once Shiva gets back, we'll wander off, and then I'll see if I can find some more exciting things to show you folks. You guys don't believe it, but yes, there's an actual Scientology Center here on Castro Street. See? Life Improvement Information Center. I stop. I think that the fact that that exists is a truth. When it says it's a information center, I think that that's a, a useful life... What was it? What, it's a... Life Improvement Information Center. The reason why I think this is true is because the fact that you know it's there and can avoid it makes your life better. It's beautiful. It's true. You can't sue them for a lie because it's 100% accurate. Well, you thought I was joking, but I wasn't. It's uh, sinfully delightful gelato classico Italian ice cream. When I, when I told you folks that we would end at a dairy-based frozen treat beverage place. I wasn't joking. The place, however, is packed. There are tons of people that are wandering in. They're shuffling themselves, stuffing themselves in, shov shoving themselves in, so shuffing. Shoving themselves inside the door. It's almost like a sardine factory, except instead of them producing fish, they're pushing fish in the door. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, the point being is that it's stuffed. I'm not a big gelato fan, but I know that Shiva and my mom are, so that's why we stopped by here. But neither one of them seems too... Uh, driven to try and squeeze in there with the rest of the crowd, so we might find another place, we might not. But I did want to let you know that I did achieve my goal and I stood by my word. Frozen dairy beverage treat things. Mm-mm, good. So we're coming up to the end of our adventure out in the sunny, sunny, Sunnyvale location. We stopped by a library to pick up some DVDs that Shiva wanted to check out. I found a book series I'm interested in looking into, which is rare, but could be interesting. Uh, and I'm being attacked. <laughs> so now, yeah, now I'm going to be uh, going home and putting this ah, video. Stop it. Video on. Uh, do you stop it? No. Nope. <laughs> going to put this video up online. You guys will get to see what a Sunday experience for me is like and stuff. Shiva. Both of us. Sushi. Yuppies. Library, Sunday, I'm seeing a pattern. <laughs> All right then.